Okay, I want you guys to know how you did on your two most recent quizzes. The one you did with the sub yesterday, and the one you did in class with me today, but we didn't get a chance to go over it. So, four bars, four x, two dark squares, minus two, equals sign, two bars, 2x, 1 unshaded square, plus 1. Start with the smaller of the x terms first. Subtract 2x from both sides. Makes a 0 pair here. Be sure you bring your equal sign straight down. All I've got left over here is a plus 1. 4 x boxes minus 2 x boxes is two x boxes and I have a minus two that I need to rewrite and now I want to zero pair out the minus two by adding two to both sides zero pair all that leaves is two x equal sign comes straight down one plus two is three divide both sides by two and you should end up with x equals 1.5. Or if you had x equals 3 halves, or 1 and 1 half, all three of those are acceptable answers. Here we've got Journey selling cookies for 75 cents, and she already sold $20 worth. So 0 0.75 times each cookie plus twenty dollars tells us how much journeys has major sells cookies for one dollar each so one dollar times cookies and has already sold fifteen dollars worth plus fifteen dollars gives us an equation for major so here's journey here's major and now all we have to do is solve until they have the same amount of money I'm going to subtract the smaller of the two variable terms which is 0.75 zero pair twenty dollars comes straight down equal sign comes straight down 1.00 minus 0.75 I have a dollar I take 75 cents away that leaves me with 0.25 C plus fifteen dollars I want the 0.25c to be all by itself, so I'm going to take away or cancel out the $15. $20 minus $15 is $5 equals 0.25c. The last step is to divide both sides by 0.25. There's four quarters and one dollar. I have five dollars, so four times five that should be twenty the answer should be C equals twenty here's angle relationships the two are supplementary we can check we can check our angle notes that I just sent out in the mind five and two five and two so those two are supplementary. Those add together to equal 180. 2x plus 80 plus 3x equals 180 degrees. 2x plus 3x is 5x. The 80 is still over here. And now we just solve. Subtract 80 from both sides. Zero pair. 5x equals 100. Divide both sides by 5. x again is equal to 20. So we had the same answer twice in a row. And here, we know these three angles add up to 180 degrees. We know these two add up to 180 degrees. And just like the notes about triangle relationships that I just sent out and that we went over in class, we know these two angles add together to equal this angle. So 4x plus 3x plus 10 equals 150. 
4 plus 3 is 7x plus 10 equals 150. Subtract 10 from both sides. Zero pair. 7x equals 140. And by division, x should equal 20. So I'm not sure why I did that, if I did that on purpose or not. Um, but three of the four answers were 20 on that quiz. So be it. Now, if this is 150, this question mark has got to be 30 degrees because it makes a straight angle. A straight line, the angles will always add to 180 degrees. Okay, so that's the quiz from the sub day. Here is the quiz from today. We've got a movie club, charges a membership fee of $2 plus 150 per, rent per rental. So $2 plus 150 per rental or per movie, so we used M, should be equal to the other club has no membership fee, but they charge $2 per rental. So just like before, I cancel off the smaller of the two variable terms first. Zero pair. All that's left is the two equals $2 minus $1.50 is 50 or 0 0.50m. And then divide both sides by 0 0.5. 0 0.5 goes into 2 4 times, so m equals 4. Here, this should be written as x plus 5 equals 2x minus 1. Cancel a negative by adding a positive to both sides. 0 pair. x plus 6, because 5 plus 1 is 6, equals... 2x, cancel off the smaller of the two variable terms, 0 pair, 6 equals 2x boxes minus 1x box is just 1x. So x is equal to 6. These two angle pairs are congruent. Look at their position in the diagram. They're in the same spot, just sort of moved up and down. If I move these two together, they'd be right on top of each other. They'd be the same. If they are congruent, then that means they are equal. So 3x plus 5, and I think I changed that to 50 to make things a bit easier. So 3x plus 50 equals 5x plus 10. Subtract 10 from both sides, 0 pair, 5x, 50 minus 10 is 40, and it's a positive 40, the 3x is still over here, let's cancel that one, 0 pair, and those don't make a 0 pair, but 5 minus 3 is 2, so 2x equals 40, divide both sides by 2, and I keep writing quizzes where x is equal to 20. It's possible I did that by accident on tomorrow's quiz as well. These two are supplementary angles. It's the same as our notes, just turned to the side. If you push these two lines together, this would make one straight line. This angle and this angle would come together to make one straight line. So 3x plus 5 plus 5x plus 10 should equal 180 degrees. 3x and 5x is 8x. 5 and 10 is 15. So 180 degrees is equal to 8x plus 15. That step right there is called combining like terms. I have 3x's and 5x's both on the same side. 
and then I have some constants 5 units and 10 units both on the same side so I put those together only then can I start canceling subtract 15 from both sides 0 pair 8x equals 165 divide both sides by 8 and that is not going to come out nice and even that's going to be 20 with some sort of remainder 20 and 5 eighths or x equals 20.625 I think and again these two angles will add together to equal this one so 3x plus 2x equals 150 degrees 3x plus 2x is 5x which equals 150 divide both sides by 5 x is equal to 30